So last time we talked about how to color prints in Photoshop using indexed color. This week, we're doing the same thing in Illustrator. Now, many of us have our own methods for this, but today I wanna show you a method you may not have seen before. Take a look. Start with a rectangle with a print swatch. I'm going to add color chips at the bottom of the page as well. Now, if you don't have the color saved in your swatches yet, you can quickly add them by selecting the print, going to your swatches panel, and choosing Add Selected Colors from the drop-down menu. This will automatically add all of the print colors to your swatches panel. To make the color chips, I'll be using the rectangle tool, dragging a copy, and then duplicating the box. Then I'll go back and add the colors into the chips. Before you start to recolor, copy the print and the swatches to a new page. I'll be using the artboard tool and I'm going to drag a copy of the artboard the same way I would drag a copy of an object. Using the black arrow, select the print and swatches and go to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. From here, a new window appears with all kinds of possibilities to recolor your print. Before you start, make sure the option in the lower left corner to recolor art is checked. And if you ever need to revert to the original print colors, click the eyedropper in the upper right corner. Now comes the fun part. Starting at the top of the window, you can cycle through different color harmony rules such as complementary, monochromatic, and high contrast colors. Under presets, change your prints to one, two, or three color jobs. And with colors, Illustrator will help you reduce the number of colors in your print. The left middle section shows your current colors, and the small swatch to the right is where you can click to manually change colors. You can either mix your own or double click the swatch to use the color picker or access your swatches panel. The three icons underneath current colors also give you some great coloring options. Starting with the third option, this one allows you to find color positions in a print. This is really helpful if you have multiple tones that are close like the two aqua colors. Click each color chip to see its position or click the icon again to turn this option off. The first icon randomly changes the color positions in the print. This can give you some great options using your existing colors. The second icon randomly changes the saturation and brightness. Adding in this function can really give you some interesting and fun colorways. And anything you create that you want to save Click the new color group folder in the upper right corner. Once you've gotten the combos you like, press OK and any color groups you've saved will be placed in your swatches panel. And Illustrator automatically creates a new print swatch with a new colorway. To recolor additional artwork, copy the original print again, select the objects and double click one of the new color groups. So. These are not new tools, but after showing this to some of my colleagues, I realized it's one of those hidden gems that most of us probably overlook or never use because we're just busy working, designing, and making things happen. So hopefully you'll find this helpful, you'll use it, and share it with another designer. Make their day a little easier. So that is this week's digital fashion tip. Let us know your feedback or questions in the comments below and definitely subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. To subscribe, click the icon in the upper left corner or click the link below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.